Hey guys, Metal Jesus here. Now today we're going to talk about one of the most beloved gaming franchises in the 1990s, and that is the Wing Commander series. Some casual fans may not realize that over 10 games were released in the franchise, and that doesn't include any of the side games. So in this video, I'm going to show you my entire Wing Commander collection, including some of the really rare and hard to find versions. Let's take a look. Here is the game that started it all. This is the original Wing Commander. It was released for MS-DOS in September of 1990. Now, if you're not familiar with this game, it is an arcade space combat game, but it's much more than that because you play as a human battling these cat creatures called the Kilrathi. And what's cool about this game is that at the time, it was a game changer as far as amazing graphics, animation, music, gameplay, and also really awesome cutscenes. Because this is a big box PC game from the 90s, well that box is packed full of stuff, including the floppy disks, of course, but then you also get blueprints of the ships in the game, so you can kind of nerd out on that. There's also this magazine in here that has a bunch of backstory that kind of fills in all the stuff that's going on in the game. And then also my box, which I got secondhand, came with this, which I thought was really interesting. It is a mailing for the secret missions. Now, think of this as DLC, but in 1990. I thought it was kind of cool looking at these notes that Origin, the people who made this game, were keeping the customer informed as to when they could expect to get these, these expansions. So this is pretty cool. Eventually, you could get those two expansion packs at retail stores, which you see here. Because the game was so popular, it was ported over to a bunch of different systems. You are looking at the Super Nintendo version right here, which I know a lot of people played this version, as well as on the Amiga FM Towns, also the Amiga CD32, which is kind of crazy. It's ported over to Mac, and of course, it was also put onto the Mega CD, which you see here. It's also worth noting that the 3DO got a pretty cool version called Super Wing Commander. This is not technically a port, it's actually a complete reworking of the original game. It has new graphics, full speech, and a bunch of new campaigns. And how do you follow up such a groundbreaking original game? Well, only a year later, they released Wing Commander 2 Vengeance of the Kilrathi. I remember the release of this game very well because it was the game that made me want to own a 486. At the time, I just had probably a 386, but this game was like, oh man, I gotta have the best, man. I gotta have a 486 that will run this thing. And thankfully, this game does not disappoint. It's better than the original in almost every way. And like the original game, this also had two expansion packs. See kids, DLC is not a modern phenomenon. It started in the 90s. And just like today, if you wait long enough, they'll eventually release a deluxe edition that has everything put into the box as it should have been. And then if that's not enough Wing Commander for you, well, Wing Commander Academy was released and that allows you to create your own custom missions and then you can share them with your friends. Here's a curious little side game that came out in 1994 called Armada. What makes this game kind of interesting to me is that it's a mix of action as well as strategy and then it also has multiplayer built into it. But as if that wasn't enough, it's also randomly generated so you can play it forever. And this was also the first Wing Commander game to use 3D polygons for the ships. All right, now we're gonna get serious with Wing Commander 3, Heart of the Tiger. And this is a turning point for the series and for a lot of these games in general. This was released in 1994. And what makes this very special is that it has over two hours of full motion video and it stars a bunch of Hollywood actors. This is one of the first games that I remember that really made you want to have a Pentium processor because at the time the Pentium processor was the latest and greatest and this game definitely utilized that. Which brings us to one of the more collectible versions of any game in the Wing Commander series. And that is <laughs> this one right here. It is the film can edition of Wing Commander 3. It's absolutely massive. And the reason for that is, well, 
It's because it holds inside of it a full 35 millimeter canister and the games are in there, the manuals. Now, normally this would also have a t-shirt. Mine doesn't, sadly. It's actually kind of hard to find a version with a t-shirt because most people wore them. Another thing that they've included here is a behind the scenes CD of this as well. So super cool version of the game if you can find it. Speaking of highly collectible Wing Commander games, well, this is a best of called The Kill Rathi Saga. What's cool about this compilation is that they took the first three games, which were mostly designed for MS-DOS, and then updated them to work on Windows. They also remastered the audio, they added better support for joysticks, and they also made it so that these games run at the proper speed, especially when you have, say, a newer Pentium processor. It's because of these tweaks that this version goes for a lot of money online. Now, if you're lucky, you can get it for, say, under $100, but often this sells for $100 to $200 or more. So after the third game, most gamers like me who are fans of the series were like, how are they ever gonna top that? Well, actually they did. I mean, Wing Commander 4, The Price of Freedom is awesome. One of the things that they did with this is threw money at it. This game was made for $12 million, which at the time was completely unheard of. They spent all that money basically doubling down on the interactive movie aspects of the franchise. So this was the first game that was shot on real 35 millimeter film and also using real Hollywood sets. And thankfully, as a fan, I was pleasantly surprised. This is another great game in the series. So they top themselves again. The other thing to know about this is that, you know, they spent all that money on making FMV videos, but this is considered one of the best examples of an interactive movie at the time. It does it really well. So what comes next? Well, you got Wing Commander Prophecy. This is the fifth game in the series, and with it are a lot of changes. Some of the changes include a new story, new characters, new ships, as well as a completely new game engine. This is significant because at the time, 3D accelerators were just starting to take off and get really popular. So this is the first Wing Commander game that has that 3D FX logo on it. And because it's a big box PC game, of course it's packed full of stuff. My favorite thing is that it has this absolutely massive star map in there. Check this thing out. Of course, there was an expansion pack release for it, I believe download only, called Secret Operations, although you could eventually get it in the Gold Edition here. I also want to mention the Game Boy Advance port of Prophecy because this is a surprisingly great version of Wing Commander running on a handheld. It's got that classic Wing Commander feel, the Wing Commander gameplay, but it also has some 3D elements when it comes to the spaceships. Now let's talk about a couple of the spin-off games. And the first one that comes to mind for me is Privateer. This game is so much fun. Think of this as classic Wing Commander gameplay, although it's completely open-ended. As a matter of fact, you can, you can ignore the main story completely if you want to. Also, you can play it however you want. So do you want to be a pirate? Do you want to be a merchant? Or do you want to be a mercenary? I mean, it's completely up to you. And then in 1996, they released Privateer 2, The Darkening. Now, what makes this different from the original Privateer is that because it's a later game, they started adding more interactive movie elements to this, more FMV stuff. Although just like Wing Commander 3 and 4, the FMV stuff in this game is really well done too. And here I'm showing you my deluxe edition of the game. It's an absolutely massive box filled with maps, patches, manuals, it's so cool. And then something kind of weird happened in 2007 on the Xbox 360. And that is Wing Commander Arena. This is an Xbox Live arcade game that nobody saw coming. Right off the bat, you can tell this is very different than the original games because it's that top view arcadey look to it as opposed to a cockpit view, more like a simulator. So that's kind of weird. Also, it just doesn't feel like Wing Commander. I mean, it's using the name, but this could have really been called anything. So again, a bit of a, a weird one in the franchise. Now, any discussion about the Wing Commander franchise must include the 1999 Hollywood movie called Wing Commander, starring Freddie Prince Jr. So what to say about this? I guess I would say 
is that it's not as bad as people said. I mean, I recently watched it and it's not. It's actually, it's one of those so bad it's good. Um, another thing that's really interesting about this is that it was directed by Chris Roberts, who made the first five Wing Commander games. So in many ways, he was building up to this moment here where he would just, instead of making a game, he would make a full-blown movie. And I think for the most part, it succeeds just as well as some of those full motion video elements in those games. And I think if you are a fan of the series, you owe it to yourself to at least check out Wing Commander, the movie. <laughs> I know, it's pretty funny buying this because you get the you get funny looks, you know? It's like, oh, Wing Commander, really? You're buying that? I'm like, yeah, you know, it's part of the Wing Commander collection. It's It's gotta sit there proudly with all the other games. And uh, I don't know, like I said, I, I like, kind of bad B movies, so it fits in my collection. But love to know what you guys thought of this video and the Wing Commander series as a whole. Uh, I think it's pretty awesome, as you guys can tell. So, all right guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and take care.